We're here with Mr. Fab and Sirius Jones. Just, 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 walk, just walk us through what happened tonight. Tonight was good. I like it. Mook showed out. Who do you think stole the show? Mook stole the show. You did a great job. We went to the level. That was classic. Arch 3 holding. Arch stole up. Mook showed up. Um, you know, we, with a venue of this size, you know what I'm saying, especially with a certain acoustic shit, you know what I mean, as a musician, I know that it's hard to execute certain problems, especially if you don't snatch the crowd. And so, I'm looking to see the next one, man. It should continue to keep growing and growing. I think that the industry rappers need to kind of play more into the world and mix some more. It should be cool, man. Yeah. It's definitely profitable. Nah, I mean, yes, this is a good look for hip-hop at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The culture's evolving, you know what I mean? And it's getting to a point where the looks are more high-end, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely respect that. I love that. I like the stage setup and the whole shit, so shout out to them. Yo. So explain us, uh, a couple years ago at Hot 9-7 at SOB's, you were supposed to do the four-man battle. Can you tell us what the original roster of the battle was supposed to be? Because Shit, the original roster was like, me first, Joe Buttons. Ron Fest. Ron Fest, I end up battling West of 5-9. That's what really kicked off Slaughterhouse, no bullshit. Like, you do the history, and then they did what they did, and then Slaughterhouse popped after that, so that shit was, that shit was dope. So, so to be right here and watch this shit, that's a good thing. Yo, yo, and Jones, man. Yeah. Real quick, salute to you, brother, because see, you and Matt were both in the building, and it was no bullshit, especially in light of certain situations. I mean, you know what? We already did the bullshit. They just don't. They just say it on camera. I don't do my bullshit on camera. <laughs> I mean, so it's like it's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? The karma we kind of already showed him, and he came to me and apologized finally. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I wasn't going to take it and do nothing extra with it. You know what I'm saying? So, Let's go, at the end of the day, go. I mean, yo, that's not for hip hop. And I always tell people, I mean, that's, that's not, unfortunately, I mean, I don't like to talk a lot of people. If you look at any of my interviews, even my vlogs, I don't even guys, say his name. Guys, not to but push like, you guys off. You guys got Hey, push hey, now. Off. Sorry, these the homies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sam Skeens. You know what I mean? Young oh, Nick. So, but yeah, basically, um, that's the only person and the only thing that ever introduced that element into into this. No one ever did that in battle rap, except for the man on your style on you guys, the regular street niggas that don't battle. We don't do that in this. You know what I'm Nobody does. So for, for that situation that had happened, it was just really uncouth for the whole culture. So it's fortunate that nobody's done, which could very well happen for that kind of situation. Because to me, where I'm from, that deserves that kind of consequence. But I, I, I'm glad that, you know what I mean, Cooler has prevailed and it's a positive look for the culture for us to show that. We should be above the violence, that's why we do this. You know what I'm saying? Good shit.